Hello there. I'm going to run you through a little iMovie editing uh, techniques. So go ahead, find your iMovie. It's right here. If it's updated, you should have the purple iMovie. Um, what's great about iMovie on the iPad is it basically walks you through anything you want to know. If you don't know something, you can go ahead and click the help question marks and it will state exactly what it is you need to know. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Um, you can select videos since that's what you, to double check and make sure all of your videos on your camera roll should show up here. All right, so here are only no pictures. There's zero pictures. Um, you can add pictures, but this will show your videos. All right. Let's check the theater. Um, you aren't going to be creating a movie trailer. If you were, this is where you would go. Select theater and you would create a new movie trailer. All right, go ahead and select projects. You are going to start a new project. When you look here, there is a share button, which you're not ready for, and the add new button, um, which actually you can just select that now. And it will tell you, do you want to create a new movie or a new movie trailer? Well, in this case, we are going to do a movie, so select movies. Um, they give you a few different examples here of some stuff. And they're kind of fun to look through if you want to see what your movie might look like because it can add different themes. Um, you know, you can wait until the end to add a theme as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select Create Movie. And once again, it tells you everything you need to do to tap video, photos, or audio to insert media. Tap the camera to record. Tap question mark for more information. Uh, the videos that you select will end up down here in your storyline. All right? So go ahead. Let's look at, we've got video and photos. I'm going to select um, this video. When I select it, a uh, drop-down arrow shows, a play button shows, and then three more dots. If you select the three more dots, it gives you more options. So you can actually, I know you can put two different videos side by side. So for instance, let's say you are signing a word in on the left hand side, you could on the right hand side have a video of something else or even a picture of what you are signing, which is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and just select the drop down arrow. Okay. Now, if I'm if I'm down below, okay, this big cursor acts as exactly what it is, a cursor where the video is at. Let's say you it's time you want to add a title, right? Okay. When I select, all I had to do is select this screen and a lot of things come up. We have title, speed, we can split. If for instance this cursor landed on the film and I selected it, split would light up because you could split it, you can freeze it, you can duplicate it, or you can trash it, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and select title. And when I select title, there will be a little T down here. So I select T. Gives me options of what I want to do. I'm going to do this cool focus one, okay? And then it says title text here, so I tap that. and I'm allowed to change the title of it. I can say done. Um, I can put lower. You can move it to where you want to move it here. Okay. All right, now let's say Let's say I don't I want I don't want all of this in here. So I'm gonna select my I'm gonna select the, the it again. Okay. Let's say I don't want all of this in there. Go ahead and these yellow bars work as editors. You can grab a yellow bar, just tap it with your finger. I'm holding it down, and then slide. All right. That will shorten your scene or lengthen it. Okay. That's how you can edit. You can also edit up here before you bring something down. So 
I'm going to go ahead and add more video. I'm going to put myself in there, okay? I can, I just want, I only need that part. I don't need this front part, so I just went ahead and you can slide your finger, hold on to that yellow bar, just slide it and hold it. I'm going to drop it in, okay? But now, I want to add this next to it, uh, the iPad. I'll select the three buttons. I'm going to put um, them side by side, okay? And I've got to make sure that this is Oh, I might have to trash that. So if I hit trash, I'll trash that. We'll go here and add this one again, side by side. There we go. Now it should be side by side. So if I press play, you can see there's two screens going on at once, which what might be a really cool option for all of you to do. If you want to add a photo, just go ahead up here, select photos, uh, camera roll, and you can see that there's a lot of different photos here. I can select... Uh, picture of my carburetor, drop it in there, all right. Um, this button here will add, add, take away your audio. If you don't want to have your audio, like your own voices in there or background sometimes, for instance, if you're doing something, there might be background noises, we want them out of there, we'll just select that button and it takes it out. So then you can add your own music. If you want to add your own voice, down here, you can select the microphone and it will say, uh, ready to record. I can press the record button. And it will actually record what I just said. And I can retake it, review it, or accept it. And it will drop it in here. Okay, I'm going to cancel it though so that the sounds don't, um, they will be unbalanced since I'm screen recording. Um, you can click your settings button here and this will give you different options as well okay if you want to have theme theme music what that means is the music that goes along with your uh, picture theme so there's a song that goes with the CNN report if you want that on you can click it on or you can take it off and choose your own music um, sometimes I have fade in and out from different scenes, it just adds a little something to it. You don't have to have that on. Okay, so when you're done, just click out of that. This is a redo button here, so that will just undo the last thing you did. When it's time for to add music, you can click on audio, and if you have, all of these are different things that you can choose from, all right? You have theme music. Theme music is is non-copyright, so it's copyright free. It's given to us by iMovie, by Apple. You can choose any of those songs. Um, you can go back. Sound effects, if you want to add in sound effects, there's a lot of different sound effects. Playlists, if you have this iPad associated with an iTunes account, you should be able to have, I have a playlist called Fun, then I could go there and add my own music. Let's add a theme song. I'm gonna add I like this one, so I'll add that one in there. And let's see, songs, oh, those are my own songs, albums, artists, okay. All right, so let's say I want to add in more uh, title right there. Do you remember how to do it? You're going to select, add title, okay. I'll put um, center, select the title here. I'll choose this. And I want to edit it there. Oops. Cancel. Okay. Uh, now if you want to watch your video, you'll go ahead and press play. A lot going on there. You can watch it. Now let's say you're ready to go to my movie. Go up here and select the arrow. This is your project. Okay. When this comes up, it's 22 seconds. I'm ready to either watch it or I'm going to share this. So I'm going to select the share button. And wait to see my options. It gives you a lot of options here. 
You can try uploading straight to YouTube. I have found that I don't have a lot of luck with that. I need to save the video, select this, save this video to my camera roll first. Uh, you can save it in HD 720 is just fine. Okay, I'm going to save it large just for now. It will export for a few minutes and then once it's on your camera roll you should be able to upload it to YouTube through YouTube Capture. Again, you might be able to upload it straight from my movie and 